Jia from Malaysia and anyone who is watching this from abroad. Xin Yan Kuai Le. Gong Si Fa Chai. Merah sangat kita malam ni, Elaine. Harus. Oh. It's a Gong Si Fa Chai week kan, Chinese New Year week. Jadi, ada possibility ke untuk dapat ampang? Hey, I'm not married. <laughs> oh. You tahu tak, I bercakap pasal angpau, I baru tahu uh, angpau ni sebenarnya in the Chinese culture hanya untuk uh, orang yang dah berkahwin boleh beri angpau tu. Ya, sebab right. Ya, sebab dalam dalam budaya Melayu masa kita sambut hari raya Aidil Fitri. Oh, it's different. It's different. Ya, yeah, naik, naik. Jadi untuk orang yang bekerja, dah boleh bagi duit raya. Tak perlu untuk yeah. kahwin. Kahwin tu memang sepastinya lah. Tapi dalam bila bekerja, memang digalakkan untuk bagi duit raya. Itu yang macam eh. Itu cakap, bila tak ada kawan-kawan, tak dapat raya. Okay, bye. Yeah, so so each time like we have uh, like for me, my friends who kawin lah, so uh-huh. you know mangsa doing sen wai. Like, okay, so, hi, uh, you, you guys are married, so I'm gonna lie. <laughs> I'm gonna go find all my married friends now. Oh my, oh gosh. <laughs> eh, masih MCO, okay? <laughs> Just be safe out there. <laughs> oh yeah, betul actually. Yeah, but CNY is so soon, guys. Everyone must be busy preparing in the kitchen and cleaning. Yes, <laughs> betul. And Ilan, kita tak nak buat semua ternanti nanti ter tunggu tunggu. Jadi over to you. To our lovely viewers, thank you for tuning in once again. Just a quick reminder that the Unity Show strives to unite the nation through the interests of our generation, regardless of political ideology, race, or religion. Mm-hmm. Kali kali. Every time we need to remind Duh. this part. Our yeah. mission is to come together as one and to spread hope. That's mm-hmm. that's really it. Not it hate, is. unity, not division. Before we go on a break, please feel free to yes. share this live show right now on yeah. your Facebook page or Instagram. Tag your friends. Cerita lah on the comment section yeah. because we are watching too. Okay, yeah. don't get us wrong. Even though we're doing the live show, we kita baca juga. Kita okay? nampak lah, walaupun kita macam mungkin. Jeleng-jeleng, <laughs> kita nampak, okay? Jeleng-jeleng, <laughs> macam tu je. Yeah. Also, don't forget to hit like on our Facebook page at the Unity Movement and subscribe to our YouTube channel at the Unity Show, where you can find replays of past episodes. Okay. If you are so curious to know siapa lah kami ni, Elaine and Aini, and what exactly we strive to do, visit www.theunitymovement.world. Yeah. Don't go away. We'll be right back. Salam sejahtera, welcome back to the show. Welcoming you our first guest of the night. He is the former Minister of Culture, Arts and Tourism, known for his hard work and his signature bow tie. Mm-hmm. Hmm, Aini, we shall ask about him, um, about his bow tie later on. Huh? But here we have Tan Sri Abdul Qadir. Hello, selamat datang Tan Sri. Hello Tan Sri, yeah, how, how, are are you? You? how are you? How are you? I've heard so much about you all. Thank you. Be on your program. Oh, the program yang elok lah, Tan Sri. Yeah. Oh, the program yang elok lah. Oh, the tak kira kata comel lah, itulah, inilah, pandai pula tu. Itulah hak kami nak dengar, Tan Sri. <laughs> Tan Sri, okay, mungkin dah banyak kali Tan Sri dengar, tapi Tan Sri dikenali ramai sebagai ikon fashion bota yang selalu diperagakan together with your Elvis Presley hairstyle. Woohoo. Jadi macam mana boleh datang idea bota itu? How did it start? Allah, bota itu lama punya cerita. Saya waktu waktu uh, zaman dulu, muda-muda dulu ni, saya gila kepada Sir Winston Churchill. Oh! So, gila at one time. And, uh, you know, I studied during the colonial period. Aha. So, I loved everything British. 
mm. and the British Prime Minister Sir Winston Churchill. Mm. And I wanted to be a lawyer very much, a lawyer uh, and uh, a graduate from England, a lawyer from England. Yes. I wanted to be a lawyer very much. Okay. And they all wear bow ties. Those days, the lawyers, you know, oh, and they speak oh, wonderful English, you know. Yes. Beautiful. And so, yeah, beautiful, mm. the master of the English language. Oh. Mm -hmm. They all wear bow ties. So I started wearing bow ties when, it, it, when I was uh, about 14 years old. Eh? Wow, so oh, young. Yeah. Long yeah. time ago, when oh. I was still in Form 3. Oh, 15. It's a very, very long time. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So okay. it's, it's my love for the British lawyers. Kita kan patutnya tak sebab kita patut mulakan kembali trend botai ni di kalangan anak-anak muda sebenarnya. Why not? Why not? Why not? Sebab dia nampak very ya sebab dia bukan ada orang tengok botai ni alah mungkin untuk orang yang lebih berumur tapi sebenarnya tak. Dia sekarang fashion sekarang zaman fashion ni di dikembalikan fashion fashion zaman dulu. Jadi sekarang botai ni tak ama lagi nanti dia akan keluar balik Tan Sri. They can they can start off Buying botai yang clip aja. Ah, clip tu. Saya punya botai ni, botai ni saya ikat sendiri. Ah, ya, ya zaman dulu pun juga dia kena ikat pusing-pusing. Ah, dia ikat sendiri, ya. Ada yang botai yang clip dia. Clip je, ha, sungguh tu je. Betul-betul-betul, sungguh. Ah, zaman zaman dulu di England pun semua ni, they always wear botai yang ikat. Ikat sendiri, ya, ikat. So, mine always ikat ni. Yeah, uh, itulah, itulah. Tan, Tan Sri, I have to, I have to botai ask. Botai asli, botai asli. Botai asli betul. Kena ikat sendiri. <laughs> yeah, but how many bow ties do you do you have? A few, a few thousand bow ties. I collected that over the last fifty years, oh. maybe. <laughs> uh, I bet a, a, a lot has its own story. Yeah, more, yeah, I've been wearing that more than more than sixty years now. <laughs> Okay, 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 okay. Tapi Ilin, ikutkan style botai itulah yang membezakan Tantri dengan pemimpin-pemimpin lain. So, it's yours yeah. to keep Tantri. Yeah, it's your signature lah. Beza, beza pemimpin-pemimpin dulu dengan pemimpin sekarang, beza banyak. Oh, ya tu kita ke dalam sikit. Bila tengah-tengah dia baru cerita cerita pasal pemimpin-pemimpin lain. Pemimpin-pemimpin ha. pemimpin dulu dia ikhlas dengan rakyat, ikhlas dengan perjuangan dia. Sungguh. Setuju, uh, saya memang yes. setuju Tan Sri, betul. They enjoy doing it for, for others, they enjoy doing it for the rakyat. Enjoy serving. They, yeah, they yes. sell their land, they mortgage their houses in order to serve. Betul. Not the other way around. Betul. Yep. Itu dulu. Mm -hmm. That's why our leaders manage to lay such strong foundation for our country. Betul. The founding fathers. Yes, hmm. founding the founding fathers. Malaysia that we have now is because of the strong foundations that our bapak-bapak kemerdekaan dulu, our founding fathers, pemimpin zaman dulu ni, semua kaum, hmm. you know, they sacrifice a lot Betul. in order to lay that foundation. Betul. You know, so now we are enjoying it. Ya, yeah, betul. Hmm. Kita je tak nampak. Mungkin kita tak nampak. Yelah, mana kita nak nampak anak-anak muda sekarang. Macam saya pun kadang kita lupa apa yang bapa-bapa Malaysia pernah buat. Kita oh, yeah, yeah. lepas. Kita, kita yeah. tak anggap benda tu as oh, benda kecil. Hmm. So, you must read. Read history subject tu. Di sekolah ni, kena introduce balik the history subject. Betul. Uh, history subject. You know, sekarang ni, history and geography, dia pun kecil-kecil kan? No. Ah, history betul. and geography are very important subject. Yeah. Sekarang ni tak tahu langsung history. History of Malaysia pun dia tak tahu. Betul. Betul. Haa. Uh. Sebab kita tak sebab kita rasa benda tu tak penting Tan Sri. No, take it for granted. Uh, take it for granted. So I think the kita punya education system must uh, give importance back to history and also apa ni to geography. At least hmm. basic history, basic basic geography, at least history of Malaysia. Betul. You know, uh, history of uh, apa ni geography of our ASEAN misalnya. Hmm. And that we should know. Kita tak boleh ignore langsung. Uh, so sekarang ni kalau kita nak bina culture di Malaysia pun you know that's how we should do the the concept sama of the confluence of rivers uh, rivers ni so what we do is kita ada culture Malay culture Chinese culture Indian culture Dayak culture Kadazan culture semuanya 
So when I was the culture and tourism minister, I told my boys, now why not like this? We want to show to the world that we are a happy country. Mm. So we are, we are, and so we adopted the colors of Malaysia. Mm. Citra warna Malaysia ni menjadi kita punya number one tourism pro, pro, product. Because we do not have Taj Mahal, we do not have uh, the Great Wall of China, we do not have Angkor Wat. So what do we tell, sell to the tourists? Betul. So we decided to sell the colors from Malaysia as our number one tourism product, our tourism attraction. The uh-huh. multi-colors from Malaysia too. Uh-huh. So that's why we decided to adopt all the cultures from Malaysia as our national cultures. Betul. You know? So we started having semua perayaan-perayaan, semua kaum ni, kita membesarkan dia, kita bagi importance kat dia. Betul. Importance kat dia. That's why those days, every month ni, kita ada bulan cita warna Malaysia. Ya, betul. Kita ada makanan dan buah-buahan. Ya, saya ingat. Kita ada ingat. Mega Seal Carnival. Saya ingat. Kita ada bulan kemerdekaan Malaysia. Ya. So all these things tu ada festival, carnival macam-macam. Tapi Betul. everybody must participate. Betul. You know, participate. So bila ada participate tu, once we start mixing around, then we start picking up the best from each other. Mm. And so unconsciously, subtly, tak ada sakit hati apa, no force and so on. Tunggu. It just nudge back bagi dia orang mix. Betul. And they happily they pick up the best of each other. Betul. So slowly pakaian pun dah jadi Malaysian. Betul. You know, so we start picking up from the best each other. You know, so slowly become a Malaysian pakaian. Betul. Nah, baju kurung ni tak sensitif lagi semua mula pakai. Mula pakai. Betul. Sama juga makanan. Betul. Makanan. So start to start picking up the best from each other. So slowly, as you can see, hmm. without being ni. Un- unconsciously We are realizing it realizing it makanan dah slowly becoming makanan malaysia makanan malaysia yeah. betul ha yong tau fu la sate la putu mayam la semua dah jadi makanan malaysia kan ya yeah. we enjoy it you know? everyone we enjoy oh. so we become that much richer our food you macam-macam yeah. our target kalau kita nak happy forever and ever all of us slowly must Anggap diri masing-masing sebagai aku bangsa Malaysia. Bangsa Malaysia. Ha, saya bukan Cina, saya bukan India, saya oh. bukan Dayak, saya bukan Kadazan, tapi saya bangsa Malaysia. Betul. So saya decided to do uh, perarakan citra warna Malaysia. Yeah, The colors of Malaysia parade. The uh, colors of Malaysia parade. Yeah. So I ask my officers. If we want to get all these dancers and music and dressers from all over Malaysia to come to Kuala Lumpur and put them on parade mm. and show it to the whole world, mm. we'll invite the television apa semua dari luar negara to yeah. itu. How long will it take? Yeah. Oh, Tan Sri, that one will take at least two, three years for us to organize. I cannot, I cannot wait two, three. I want it to be Ada done. Ada masa, tak cukup. I say I want it for three months. I want to do it within three months. Dia pun ni menteri gila lah ni. Ha, menteri. Make it happen. Kepala Three tak months. Lah. Said, no, let's do it. I will be together with you. I'll do it together with you. Betul. Betul. And we went on to do it. As a minister, I'm the driver's seat. I can hmm. finally make a decision. Hmm. I decided we want to perarakan citra warna Malaysia. Colors of Malaysia parade. Yeah. Within three months, we got to do it. We want to do it in Kuala Lumpur. Okay. And then I want to invite television, radio, TV, all of, newspapers from all over the world to tell this to the world how beautiful are the, 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 the cultures of Malaysia. And we did it. We did it. Within three months, I tell you, any Malaysian who sat down there and watched this continuous dancing, music, dresses, you know, so colorful, from all over uh, Malaysia, walking up and walking past in front of the Bangunan Sultan Samad and going to uh, up and Jalan Raja Laut, back to Jalan Tungkok Brahman, you know, about five, six kilometers of parade. And with the rakyat eh, of all come uh, on the roadside watching it, I tell you, if you're watching that as a Malaysian, you're so proud 
suddenly you realize, my God, how come we are so rich in color, so rich in dancers, so rich in music and so on. Yeah. We are a great nation. Yeah. Our colors of Malaysia is so wonderful. No wonder people say, and we rightly deserve to be called Malaysia, truly Asia. Asia. The best in Asia is in, in Malaysia. So. And it was in uh, during my time, I I presented uh, a paper to the cabinet. Yeah. To make the six perayaan perayaan utama di Malaysia ni sebagai perayaan rasmi, official, eh, dan uh. perayaan national. Oh. Uh, national celebration. That means Hari Raya, Hari Raya Adil Fitri, ya, yeah, no yeah. Hari Raya Puasa. Uh, Hari Raya Adil Adha. Hari Raya Adil Fitri, hmm. and then. Uh, Uh, Chinese New Year, yeah. Dipawali, Christmas, Gawai Dayak, and Tadau Kaamatan, the Karazan Dusun punya, yeah. apa ni, National fest- uh, Festival. This six festival to be declared as national celebra- uh, celebration, to be celebrated oh. together by the whole country. Oh. So I remember the first time when we had our uh, Christmas Uh, Hari Raya. Yeah. Declare yeah. as a, as a, as a uh, national, celebration. national celebration. I had it in Melaka. Oh. I in Melaka, yes. Kita buat pra- pelancaran perayaan apa ni Hari Christmas peringkat national kita buat di uh, Melaka. Ok, at the state level kena ada juga. But at yeah. Melaka, Agung pergi sana. Uh, and then Dr. Mazir kat Siti Asma was there also. Mm. And then of course all the ministers and TV pula oh, live. Oh, nah. And I have about 50 television stations from all over the world to watch that. Big crowd, firework lah, itu lah ini. Then the Agung bawa speech, PM made speech, I made speech. The local uh, chief minister from bawa speech and so on. Launching of the Christmas celebration, Christmas national level. Next Christmas celebration. Then suddenly came to a very important part to light the Christmas tree. Christmas tree! Oh, they made a huge Christmas tree. Yeah. And then nak pergi light up the Christmas tree. Mm-mm. Siapa nak pergi light up the Christmas tree? Huh. The king of Malaysia, yang di Pertuan Agung. Tapi he is the head of Islam. Oh. Macam mana nak pergi light up Christmas tree? Christmas tree. Ada oh. orang yang old fashion ni nanti condemn. Ah, betul. So, and then kita so, ini apa ni Tan Sri Kadi ni pergi put our uh, agung in a difficult position. Yeah. Asking to go and light a Christmas tree. You know, so what happened was I I took my chance and then uh, the came sekarang sampai mas tiba masa macam ni yang di Pertuan Agung, Duli Yang Maha Mulia yang di Pertuan Agung uh, diminta untuk apa ni nyalakan uh, Christmas, yeah, tree. Christmas tree. So I pun jemput dia pergi He walked up very happily. Uh, masa tu Sultan Almarhum Sultan Selangor, Sultan Salahuddin. Happily. Uh-huh. And Dr. Mazi ikut, the Chief Minister, uh, the Governor Melaka pun ikut, kami semua pun ikut. And Agung very proudly switch on the thing and light it up for the Christmas tree. Uh-huh. Oh, orang semua uh-huh. here. Then there was firework like hell. Uh-huh. You see? No sensitivity. Uh-huh. Then the following day, the report all over the world, The king of Malaysia, the head of Islamic religion, lighting up the Christmas tree. Mm. Uh, that's the news all over the world. So the portrayal is that Malaysia is a very tolerant country, Betul. very broad-minded country. Betul. And the people of Malaysia, even though they are of different religion, different celebration, but they celebrate things together. Yeah. That's Betul. the news that we got all over the world. Yeah. You know? <laughs> Sudah cerita penuh dah, Tazri. Tazri, did somebody leak our questions to you, Kak? Itulah, sebut lah. We didn't even ask. It's like you knew what we were going to ask you. No, no, okay. Carry, carry on. What you want to ask? No, no, no. It's, uh, <laughs> it, it, it was good. I think you got both Aini and I very emotional with the whole how Malaysia is one. Unity is so important and... Cut off with the, you know, no need to divide each other. There's no point. We are yeah. in Malaysia for a reason. Yeah. One country for a reason. So that really hit me. And and then it hit me too that I feel so privileged 
I think Aini feels the same way to have you on the show tonight. Mm-mm. Thank you. Thank you very much. Tansri, the first step we need to do is make a hashtag Tansri uh, for... Chuli Botai. Lah. <laughs> <laughs> and then we continue. Tadi uh, kena masuk Tansri, kena masuk balik dalam kabinet. Yeah. yeah, masuk balik dan jadikan balik program. Kalau tidak, yeah. apa tak yang ada. kita nak? Kita nak apa jemput yang... pelancong semua datang ke Malaysia. Apa yeah. yang kita nak tunjuk? Kita nak tunjuk. Yes. Apa uh. pelancong kat luar nampak yang kita, uh, kita nak jual untuk bagi mereka. So, masuk. we want to show, we have already so. decided that the colors of Malaysia, Citra Warna Malaysia is our number one tourism product. Betul. From Citra Warna Malaysia to we develop di Tima Malaysia Truly Asia. Yeah. Tansri, bercakap tentang Malaysia Truly Asia sebab Tansri dah banyak kali sebut Malaysia Truly Asia. Kita boleh nampak beza industri pelancongan yang sangat ketara pre-COVID dan sekarang. Uh, di mana semua tempat tutup. Tak boleh cakap dalam Malaysia, satu dunia tak bergerak. Satu dunia tutup. Tansri rasa boleh tak industri pelancongan kita hidup semula selepas COVID ni? Hidup balik. Tapi hidup balik pun dia kena baliklah ke- kepada apa tujuan pelancong datang ke sini. Ah. Dulu selepas kita research buat penyelidikan kajian macam-macam. Kita sebulat suara dan di endorse oleh kerajaan kabinet pun waktu tu. Ya. Yeah. iaitu menjadikan uh, citra warna Malaysia ni, warna-warna Malaysia ni, kebudayaan Malaysia yang berbagai-bagai ni sebagai produk pelancongan kita yang pertama. That means the festivals, the carnivals of Malaysia, a happy Malaysia, you know, itulah tarikan kita ke Malaysia. The diverse people of Malaysia. Tak ada. You know, kerana kita tak ada uh, Great Wall of China. Kita tak ada the pyramids of Cairo. Betul. Kita tak ada apa ni Taj Mahal. Kita tak ada Borobudur of Indonesia. You know, so we have to coin, decide something if we want to remain strong in tourism. Tourism is the biggest industry in the world. Betul. Kalau kita tak pay serious attention to tourism, we lose out. It is the biggest industry in the world. Is tourism. Betul. You know, so we have to be serious about that. You know, unfortunately, all the programs which made Malaysia indirectly, walaupun it is a tourism product, tourism product, but at the same time, it creates happiness for the people. Festival, yeah. carnival, yeah. Yeah. it creates the feel good feeling among the yeah. rakyat. Betul, merapatkan, merapatkan ha. semangat perpaduan tu. And then satu kedua, eh, rasa, then keduanya rasa sonok, happy. Betul. Yeah. Someone talk about happiness index. Yeah. And happiness index, so they measure the success of a country by the happiness index. Mm. So, mm. Kalau the festival, carnival, sepanjang masa, pelancong happy, kita tarikkan pelancong, kita untung. Kita rapatkan rakyat Malaysia berbilang kaum, kita untung. Kita bahagiakan rakyat pun, kita untung. Lama-kelamaan kita memumpuk tanpa sedar, iaitu budaya Malaysia yang akan menguatkan asas-asas bangsa Malaysia. Kita Kalau kita bercakapkan tentang Tan Sri, banyak kali sebut tentang unity, perpaduan, perpaduan, perpaduan. Apa pendapat Tan Sri tentang you know, perpaduan dulu dan sekarang? Kalau kita bezakan, you know, from your era and my era, our era, do you think we have grown to become a better nation? Or adakah perjalanan kita masih jauh lagi? Sedih. Sedih. We start off beautifully. Hmm. Ya, kita ada 10-15 years early merdeka tu, we were all so sincere to each other. Hmm. Tak ada masa, we are walking always macam cerita sungai tadi lah. You know, going side by side, and then slowly picking up the best each other, and slowly nak jadi yeah. satu color. Tapi tu sekarang the politician tak kisah bab tu dah. Betul. Sekarang the flow become dah kelang kabut dah jadi. Kabut. Tak ada flow pun Tanzri. Uh, so the politicians now are betul-betul berdosa kepada generasi yang akan datang. No. They should, you know, they should balik ke pangkal jalan lah. Mm-hmm. We can have our differences pasal ekonomi itu ni, but some basic things, you know, we are already agreed. Dah masuk dalam perlembagaan waktu merdeka dah semua sign dah. You know, and mm-hmm. semua agree happily. That one kena laksana. Satu pasal bahasa kebang, bahasa Malaysia ni. Malaysia, yeah. Yeah. So it's very important kerajaan Malaysia go back and laksana balik 
apa yang kita setuju waktu merdeka dulu oleh semua pemimpin-pemimpin kaum iaitu jadikan bahasa Melayu itu jadi bahasa kebangsaan bahasa untuk semua orang bahasa-bahasa lain go ahead and learn also no problem ha, itu another important thing Ya, untuk rumuskan uh, apa yang Tan Sri telah perkatakan tadi, basically Malaysia ini perlu paksikan ideologi dari our founding fathers. Macam mana yeah. kita boleh lihat bagaimana bapa Malaysia dan juga Perdana Menteri Malaysia pertama, Tunku Abdul Rahman, hmm. di mana di bawah pimpinan Tunku menitik beratkan kerjasama hmm. antara kaum, bersatu padu antara kaum for a better nation. Hmm. Macam Tan Sri katakan tadi, it amazing, memang betul. Bahasa itu satu bangsa, kita perlu apa-apa uh, perbezaan perbezaan hmm. antara rakyat kita patut tapi ya mungkin memang yeah. semua semua orang ada ada perbezaan itu tapi we have to kita put we have to come aside. together yeah. yeah put that aside and I come think together we are, we are now going down very fast yeah becoming a pale country hmm. you know we have now vietnam vietnam tu hancur dengan perang under hmm. years non stop of war You know, everybody bomb their own so on, their crash. Mm, mm. But last, only they got peace about 25 years. Yeah. Mm, mm, Suddenly, mm, they mm. beaten us economically. Mm, mm, yeah. They beaten us, Vietnam. Yeah. Mm. Thailand has beaten us. Mm, mm, mm. Indonesia is beating us. A lot yeah. of the foreign companies and so on going to Indonesia. What's happening to us? <laughs> What's happening to us? So we are failing in every area and because of politicians. Politik. Ya. Yeah. Sorry saya pun orang politik juga. Betul, betul. Tapi saya dapat beza politik saya. orang lama dengan hak baru ni. Betul. Yeah. Balik ke pangkal, go back to where we started. Betul. You know, like that. Huh? Nombor satu bahasa Malaysia tu everybody bahasa kebangsaan. Nombor dua, when you are elected as a leader. Mm, mm. You know, you you pegang amanah orang. It's a position yeah. of trust. Yes. Yeah. You know, so you must use this position to serve the rakyat. Betul. Yeah. That's what Tengku Brahman did, Tun Razak did, Tun Dr. Sma'e did, all the leaders in the past of all races did. Mm-mm. Jangan guna kuasa pendudukan ini untuk cari kekayaan untuk diri sendiri. You forget about perjuangan. Yeah. Betul. Go steal. You go and steal so, rakyat punya duit. Yeah, ayat so, ayat marah. Memang ayat marah kalau buat macam ni. Memang marah. marah. And they are stealing in a big, big yes. way. Bilion-bilion. Yeah. Tak payah sebut nama lah. Tapi siapa rasa makan cili dia terasa lah. Yeah. Bertobat buang lah. Bertobat buang. Bertobat buang. Kesian kepada rakyat. Piti you know. Ni, roh Tengku Abraman di kubur. Roh Tengku Abraman, roh apa ni Tun Fuad, Stephen, Tun Mustafa di Sabah ni, Tun Temenggung juga, and all these people, you know, in Sarawak, and uh, Tun Razak, Tun Dr. Smaya, Tan Sri Senu, all these roh, orang-orang yang meninggal, and when they die, they all die miskin. Betul. Yeah. Apa-apa tanah ada sikit sebanyak pun jual, untuk perjuangan, untuk rakyat. Mm-hmm. They all crying in the grave, nangis dalam kubur, selama ni. Ya. Yeah. Dengan Tengok pada keadaan Malaysia, Malaysia sekarang. sekarang. Ya, betul. So I'm sure they want to merayu kepada leaders yang ada sekarang. Please change yourself. Betul. Get back to where we started, you know. Hmm. And get back the country to its proper footing. Betul. Build up Malaysia again. Make betul. Malaysia great again. Betul. Make Malaysia, the rakyat Malaysia proud of their country. Yeah. Don't do the wrong thing. Betul. Nah, itu harapan ni. Roh di kubur-kubur semua ni. Betul. betul. So I hope there's some politician listening to your program. I, hopefully, ya. Yeah. Saya berharap, saya rasa mungkin lepas uh, Tan Sri berkata ke apa Tan Sri kata tadi, mungkin ada. Sebenarnya ada, tapi yelah tak nak mengaku lah kot mungkin mereka yeah. ni. Hmm. Pretty, pretty sure tengok, there's a lot watching. Tengok harap dapat ah. kesedaran. We hope that they Betul. they they, they recognise that uh, you know our country is doing wrong. Come on, man. They, You can make your money, you know, they all have qualifications now, they can. But you afford yourself to be a leader. Betul. So you better be a leader lah. Betul. Who you are honest, honestly. You know, our law allows you to be rich, no problem. Yeah. But don't offer yourself to be a leader, a politician. Betul. 
Sure. So you remain a business, go into business, go and make your money, make your billion, betul. million, no problem, go ahead. Our country is free. Yeah, yeah. betul. If you want to become a minister or this and that, then you got to give full time to do your job. For the rakyat. Uh, and don't ever touch the rakyat's money. Yeah, yes. betul. How come Tunku didn't do it, Tun Razak didn't do it, Tun Dr. Smaya didn't do it, Tun Sambandang didn't do it, Tan Celok didn't do it, Tun Mungun juga didn't do it, Tun Mungun We all didn't do it, those days. Nanti yeah. Kadir didn't do it. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> it's, really, it's really shameful. Lah. Yeah. We can do shameful. it. And the Singaporean ministers don't do it. Yeah. The leaders yeah. in Denmark, in Sweden, in Finland, they don't do it. They are prime ministers. Uh, upon in the prime minister of New Zealand, that lady now, she's mm. so famous, so well loved, because yes. she didn't do yeah, it. Yeah. It's a clean, ordinary, honestly yes. giving 24 hours of a time for the country, no. for the Declare people. Declare the nation COVID-free, Tan Sri. Yeah. I believe it. Yeah. 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 You know, I mean, so if they can all do it, and why can't the politicians in Malaysia do it? Betul. Mm. Setuju. Setuju. Betul. Dari rasuah-rasuah ni, dari politik uang, dari Betul. pembaziran, curi duit rakyat, betul buat buang. Betul buat lah. Tolong lah. Saya tak boleh sebut nama-nama lah. Oh, tapi oh, kesiap no 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 <laughs> Pada anak cucu kita, we are going to leave this country for our yes. children, our grandchildren and so on. Betul. So what type of country are we doing to them? Yes. Setuju. Betul. Yeah. Yeah. We can do it. Uh, thank you. Sorry, sorry. Now, what's your question now? Tanjir dah, Tanjir dah cover semua nak cakap je, Tanjir. Cover all. Ya, Tanjir, malangnya masa tak mengizinkan untuk yeah. kita berbincang, bercakap, berceloteh, berbahas bersama para penonton pada show pada malam ini. Jadi, terima kasih kerana sudi meluangkan masa pada malam ini untuk The Youth Show. Yeah. Thank you, Tanjir. All the best for future initiatives, yeah. projects Elin, and I everything. Hope... I hope you, next time we meet, you have some questions from the, <laughs> from the perspective of the non-Muslims, you know, Kadir yeah. Zandutu, the Daya oh, Iman, yeah. how do they feel about things, how we can rectify, how we can correct their worries and so on, how do we make them feel that we are one, we are Bangsa Malaysia, you might be Christian, you Daya must be only 2% of the population of Malaysia, but we are proud that you are in our family. Because you add so much color and richness oh. to the Bangsa Malaysia, oh, you know. Warna, Daya, Eriban, the Kazan, the Dusun, the Pani Murut, and so on, you know. Uh, all is so rich, you know. So we are, all, we are proud of each other. We are proud of each other. <laughs> we are that much more colorful because we are together. Oh, yeah. So we must yeah. remain together so and stronger together. together. Yeah. Kita tolong kita. Ya betul. Kita kita. Ya betul. Kasih yeah. kita ya. Yeah. Yeah, thank you dear. Thank you. <laughs> thank you so much, Thank you. Thank you dear. Thank you very much. Thank you. <laughs>
to the Unity Show. Our special talent of tonight is Beverly, a tribal pop princess from Kota Kinabalu, but prefers to be known as Maya Bayu. Hi, Hi Maya. Maya. Hello. Hi. <laughs> Great to, to be here. The show. <laughs> so thank you so much. We should address you as Maya, right? Not Beverly. Yeah, definitely. Because <laughs> people have been calling me Beverly, and everyone's like sort of confused. Confused. <laughs> yeah. Tahu nak panggil apa? Yeah, that's why. So, so okay, Maya. I need again. I know her personally. She's my high school junior, and every time yes. she performed at school, she has the ability to shut everyone, and all of our all of our attentions would go to her. Masalahnya, it's like semua musicians yang datang on segment kedua untuk Unity Show ni semua ilang kenal di KK tu. Tapi pasti for sure, Maya, you did catch my attention masa halftime show, and I memang terpesona. Untuk mereka yang mungkin tak tahu, Maya lebih dikenali sebagai Maya Bayu di dalam industri. Jadi Maya, ya apa mm-hmm. maksud Maya Bayu ni, and why? <laughs> so actually, um, Starting out in music, I was known as Beverly Matujal, which is my real name, lah. Yeah. But um, after a very long, my journey was very up and down and all. And um, at this point, like two years ago, I decided to go a very different direction. Okay. Normally, biasanya dulu I main macam folk, so folk okay. and indie singer songwriter, macam piano and like guitar and very sad. <laughs> yeah. But uh, I decided. <laughs> You know Elaine. What <laughs> you do you mean know. sad? <laughs> oh, I know. Nice I know. Like, very sad and like very oh, very oh kill me. <laughs> kill me. No la, no, okay. The person doesn't love me back. But <laughs> two years ago, I went into a totally different direction. I found okay. this new calling lah. Like, okay. I wanted to do music yang much uh, like represented the people back home and my culture oh. and everything. So... <laughs> Uh, I decided I wanted to uh, to do like a new pers- persona. Jadi yeah. macam share a bit or like, you know. <laughs> That's you know, very like, thoughtful yeah. of you, Maya. And thank you so much. But I needed a name to go with it. So I, I love Maya Bayu. Yeah. Thank yeah, you. So yeah. It's like ngam you, you know, ngam. <laughs> Maya Bayu. But, yeah. but, uh, but okay, I, I might... Um, screw it up and call you Beverly but let me no try worries. to, to <laughs> you know, let me try to remember to call you Maya but you, you want to be known as tribal pop princess could you yeah. explain to us a little of what what is tribal pop princess I would say uh, I wanted to fuse modern pop hmm. like okay. Ariana Grande and all like oh. this kind of genre of music but also okay. infuse like cultural elements into it so it sounds very right. tribal like for like Sabans and Sarawakians when they listen to my music they can they know that it's from like Borneo right. and but the thing okay. is it's so strange because like uh, the strong song structure of my songs is very pop yeah okay. so that's why just the fusion of those elements like I came up with this tribal pop kind of yeah combination lah So right, right. I didn't know how to explain it. Yeah, at first, people kept asking me what kind of music is Maya Bayu, and I was Tribal like, pop. "Yeah, <laughs> Tribal Pop." And then lepas tu tak dilupakan juga nama nama Maya Bayu tu. Yeah, Bayu. Maya Bayu. Ah, Maya Bayu ada macam okay. So what kind of music? Ada cakap music macam ni, tapi lepas tu dengan Maya Bayu. Ah, yeah. So it's sort of. Yeah, lands perfectly lah together. I hope. And, and uh, Maya, your new single Oh Sayang, did mm-hmm. you wrote that for your husband? Congratulations, well, by yes. the way. <laughs> oh yes, for tying the so knot. Congrats! <laughs> Thank you so much. Yeah, we tied the knot during MCO. So wow, <laughs> good idea. Good idea. Yeah. Yeah. During MCO, ni yeah, too many. We, we saved a lot of money. <laughs> That's true. But yeah, at first, Oh Sayang was written about my my husband, Darren. Oh. But eventually, the more I worked on it, uh, because I entered the Levi's Music Project, uh-huh. and they actually, um, they they paid for all the production costs and everything. And oh. I decided, yeah, the more I worked on it, I found that it was for everyone I met along the way. Okay. So the people who believed in me and the people back home, basically. So okay. this song became about hope. So oh, yeah, they had a deeper meaning. The show media. is all about Maya. Hope. Yeah, the show is all about hope. So, uh, what's what's the next plan for you? Ada album baru? Definitely. Yes. Any ba- babies album. planning on the way? No. 
not yet. She's okay, okay, busy sorry, teaching. Sorry. Oh, busy okay. teaching. I'm yeah, busy teaching. I'm busy teaching. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Maya is also a teacher. Yeah. She, uh, she teaches in KL, Taman Tun to be exact. So if anyone yes. is looking for a teacher, yes, look for Joyride music. music. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> and funny enough, uh, before uh, she hopped on to our interview tonight, she was teaching. Yeah. yeah. So a few minutes uh, before she masuk to uh, mengajar lah dia. So that is commitment. Um, that commitment. That commitment. Yes. Dedication. <laughs> okay. You, Maya. I mean, that's what we have to do. You know, our children yes. are our future. Wow. <laughs> so what's next? What's wow. next for you, Maya? Uh, I'm working on my next single, so it's going to be out in March, sometime in March. Mm. Whew. Okay. Yeah. So every three months, that's my goal. New wow. single. Pop, pop, pop. Yeah. And then is this going to be the same as Oh Sayang? The punya beat? I would say not really. <laughs> going to be a dance number. So hopefully people can dance at, in their homes lah, during MCO. In? If it's still MCO for three months later. Let's hope not lah. Let's hope. Yeah, let's hope not. Let's hope not. <laughs> okay. Maya, have you, have you always been an independent singer or are you currently under any label? No, I've been independent through and through ever since I started in music. Yeah. When did you start exactly? Mm. After I graduated in 2017. Oh, from okay. uh, uni, yeah. And so, then uh, that's when you decided to just jump in and terus buat je lah. Korean. Yeah, betul. <laughs> so, what, what did you, what did you uh, study, pursue uh, in, in school? I studied mass comm. So I majored okay. in PR and events. Awesome. Yeah, so, Same. so it's not totally like a loss. <laughs> Oh, in a way, still yeah. using Ada, it. Yeah. Ada lah dia punya, uh, apa tu, sambungan dia tu. Yes, yes. It's, it's not like I studied like law or medicine. <laughs> yeah. But she's been singing she, since you were... Probably like 10 15, or 11, yeah. Like, like 15 uh, was when I went stage, on stage, yeah. On stage. Wow. Right. Wow. Yeah. That was... Oh. Itu itu macam Ilin bila bercerita pasal orang yang kenal semua dekat KK macam, oh you kenal orang ni, oh Ilin pun kenal orang ni, semua lah. <laughs> That's how KK is. So. <laughs> Because I'm in But the Maya, industry. <laughs> yeah. Maya, kita bercakap tentang industry music or industry Definitely. creative in general. Yeah, mm-hmm. sememangnya ia sinonim dengan cabaran or struggle. Yeah. Jadi betul. how was it like for you then, bila, you know, when bila Maya nak menempa nama dalam bidang ini and how did you overcome it? I would say um, macam industri di Malaysia sekarang ni memang susah especially for independent yeah. um, musicians like me no. especially females as well mm. yeah there's always yeah. this macam um, sort of people always want females to look a certain way lah if you're a female That's singer true. but and then yeah, I don't fit that mold at all like I'm not okay. I'm not skinny I have a lot of tattoos <laughs> my hair is like very weird Authentic. colors all the time mm. yeah very very me so I find mm. that that is a challenge that I face all the time like when I want to reach like a mainstream audience like they always selalu tengok image Maya terus like mm, maybe not <laughs> you know mm. uh, yeah so I find that that's a challenge I keep um, running into but I feel like it's yeah. not really hindering me in a sense. Much um right. I'm still very very um yeah, I'm still working really hard to put out music okay. regardless of anything and mm. no matter what I think other musicians out there will feel what I feel as well. So mm. all the, all we have to do is just to keep hustling in a way. Like keep it, making it's, music. It's yeah. I mean like when when tadi ka bilang bila Maya sebut pasal Uh, you know your appearance because ada certain mm-hmm. expectation yeah. daripada yeah. Yeah. daripada daripada you know our environment daripada industry how we women should look like it's so funny mm-hmm. because when we had ZRV on our apa tu segment mm-hmm. a few weeks ago maybe two uh-huh. weeks ago but two, two segments kan two segments ago kan ilang tak silap two segments ago yeah uh, two segments three, ago three, three, three. three yeah okay so Z actually said something similar about ah. your the struggle, yeah, the struggle because she appearance. said yeah appearance and dia kata mm-hmm. sekarang ini uh, Malaysia Malaysia kalau nak anak-anak muda especially in creative industry dalam bidang music ni to grow mm-hmm. untuk mengembangkan sayap dia, dia we should look past beyond our appearance because yeah. ba- this is her exact words bakat tidak kenal rupa yeah yeah and so really, what you said dah macam teringat Exactly. Ingat balik ZRV. Yeah. <laughs> that's true. <laughs> yeah, and it's true. Sebab kadang-kadang bila kita tengok bakat kita, we expect 
uh, macam kita, kita kita perempuan kan people expect us to behave a certain way people expect us to look a certain way jadi kalau kita tak ikut dia punya uh, apa tu expectation yang uh, rakyat yang industri nak kita hmm. tak boleh nak kita tak boleh nak go further in our career yeah. and that's so frustrating that's yeah especially in Malaysia where all of us come from different backgrounds like most of us yeah. are mixed especially back in Borneo like everyone is mixed so yeah. there's not one look to it you know so why should that one person who looks that one certain way be successful be entitled right. to success yeah. other than yeah. other people yeah Yeah, so, just, so I really agree with what Z said. Betul betul ya. Yeah. Just because uh, mungkin seorang penyanyi itu ada kelebihan daripada penyanyi yang lain, dia hmm. dia boleh kehadapan dengan senang. Yeah, yeah, which is also not fair, you know. Yeah, kan? correct. Betul. Because But, uh, if we talk about talent, then we should appreciate the talent. Exactly. That skill, not mm-hmm. because of the talent's uh, appearance, lagi lah. But Yeah, it's uh, it rouses me up lah when it comes to you know appearance matter. Mm. Yeah, well, it's something not, that not all anymore. Women, yeah, <laughs> the new norm. Not anymore. Sorry, not ladies anymore. and gentlemen. <laughs> have you, have you, Maya? Have you ever um, just out of curiosity, mm-hmm. like, have you ever been uh, apa tu bila dapat job kan? Mungkin mm-hmm. uh, job itu di uh, mungkin Maya pernah ditolak from receiving getting any jobs for because of your tattoos um tattoos i mean that's a lot of times lah <laughs> like it? i i wouldn't know but i mean i would kind of guess like everyone has a certain especially corporate jobs they always have like a certain like look in their mind but mm. uh tattoos Yeah, during I mean during interviews, I have to like wear long sleeve shirts and like really mm. like cover it up just to uh, hide my tattoos. But um, I've never been outright rejected by anyone uh. by like yeah, of them saying like, "Oh no, you don't fit this because you don't fit the mold." But I've had like comments said to me from other artists. <laughs> what what <laughs> like, did they say okay. in the same? same bill so I was performing with another artist uh, for uh-huh. this one bill and he outright uh, told me like oh you're not young enough anymore like you better start selling your face <laughs> um, you uh, yeah you better start to know how to jual muka lah he said <laughs> so that was like one comment that I still remember until now yeah <laughs> but how do you deal macam mana macam mana Maya deal with those comments Uh, normally I will just I think I'm at the age where I'm like oh, okay mature yeah, enough to like oh, you all right, thanks <laughs> yeah okay thanks wow <laughs> that is not a nice feedback yeah and that was like back Kadak- in like yeah in an artist Wait, room and we was like hanging around I think two oh, years he, ago I think. He, was yeah. it a he or oh, she it was a he obviously oh, and he didn't even <laughs> he didn't even speak to you privately Just no, he said it right in front of everyone. <laughs> yeah. Wow. That's Because he was like I'm asking, like, how, how old are you? And then I was like, mm-hmm. oh, I'm 20 something, 25 <laughs> that time. Yeah. I remember when Pegang Teguh lah bila bila Z when Z specifically mentioned bakat tidak kena rumah tu. It's something that kita we always forget uh, sometimes lah kita selalu kata kita nak industri music untuk berkembang kenapa yeah. industri music mm. tak berkembang bila industri music tak berkembang yes. Se- sebenarnya kalau kita tengok kan balik bila all these questions bila how macam mana mm. all these changes should come need to come from us yeah. macam mana mm. kalau kita nak ya yeah, macam mana kalau kita nak expect industri music untuk berkembang tapi kalau kita sendiri pun tak boleh nak kita tak boleh Except. nak pass through yeah. tak boleh nak pass through that barrier right. yang bakat tidak kena rupa tu To mm-hmm. get, you know, for us to get to that stage, to susah. But if yeah. we don't take that step, how are we going to, you know, help our anak-anak muda? How are we going to help our talent, our yeah. artist to grow? Mm-hmm. True, correct. Sure. Yeah, and you know, I mean, speaking of this, I mean, sememangnya it's part of the journey, lumrah kehidupan. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. yeah, in any in anything that we do, yeah. apa saja yang kita buat. So I just hope, you know, moga anak-anak muda yang menonton tone pada malam ini especially yeah. yang mengimpikan kerja dalam industri muzik akan terdorong akan still inspired with your story Maya and tak yeah. putus asa thank you so much yeah, yeah it's, it's, it's normal but before we go before we let you go Maya kalau tak yeah. boleh tak Maya give us a short performance oh <laughs> like acapella 
Anything. 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 <laughs> <laughs> can I feel a bit. You want to <laughs> play a guitar? Pun boleh. Uh, yes. Well, sing my, pun my boleh. guitar is not around. Oh, okay. <laughs> In my like study yeah, room. Yeah, berjalan ka? <laughs> yeah, I guess like, it like rolled away. But I think I can just like sing an a cappella okay. snippet of right. my song. Let's yeah, do it. Well, okay. I don't know, it feels so weird, but okay. <laughs> okay, minum air dulu ya. <laughs> boleh, Ki. <laughs> boleh, kasi boleh sejak ini. <laughs> ini air, oh, ya? <laughs> okay. Uh, this song is called Oh Sayang. <laughs> oh Sayang, my only love. Is there anyone more fair than you brave and kind you came to claim and capture all my heart <laughs> 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 so proud to call you my high school junior oh my gosh <laughs> <laughs> <Man. laughs> <laughs> 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 you're so good right yeah <laughs> Tadi pun dah ambil feel nak minum air. Kau oh benda nak buat. Bila dia start menyanyi macam, ha? Huh? <laughs> Thanks guys. But people, ya Allah, ni memang untuk kita kena kita kena sampaikan message ni hmm. untuk orang luar di sana, untuk orang di dalam industri music, industri kreatif. Bakat tidak kenal rupa. rupa. Hmm. Hmm. Please, everyone, just accept it. Accept, accept it. Be open about it. And kita maju yes. together because that is the yes. only way for our country, for our people to grow. And isn't that grow. what we want? We don't want to yeah. be yeah. Yeah. to grow as a nation. Yeah. Elaine, kenapa tiba-tiba marah? Elaine, what was Mumbara? The red is like <laughs> suddenly <laughs> like I feel so <laughs> suddenly marah. Sorry guys, sorry, but uh, it's true. It's true. When when are we going to you know? Start reset everything and then maju yeah. ke hadapan because maju ke hadapan. we are all yeah, behind. Changes come from us, from within. Mm-hmm. Yeah, from kalau within. Kalau kita tak buat, kalau kita tak ambil, kalau kita tak buat the first step, kita tak jump in, buat ambil first step tu untuk perubahan. Perubahan will never happen. Yep. But thank you. Unfortunately, Maya. Yes. Isn't good. Ile nak potong oh, dah. Sorry. <laughs> Oh yeah, terima kasih for coming on the show pada malam Whoa. ini. Yes. So Thank you so much. Thank you for having on our show. Thank you for sharing your story. Oh, we yeah, hope you will like so you, depressing. Yes. <laughs> no. Yeah, I hope to be on no, like, no, the no. Unity show again. No, because, because your message, your message shows that masalah yang kita tengah hadapi sekarang dalam industri music ni, it's it's happening. It's, it's real. Yeah, it's prevalent, yeah. Yeah, mm. yeah it's out there. So we have to we have to come together as one mm-hmm. and make that change. Yes, together. So thank you we so can. much. Thank, thank you so much, much Maya. Thank you. Happy Chinese New Year. Happy Chinese Party. Oh, happy Chinese New Year. <laughs> <laughs> thank you so much. Bye. Another episode, another emotional roller coaster for me, Aini. <laughs> Betul. Ilin bapa emosi dia number one pemenang. <laughs> Tapi Elaine, sebagai rumusan untuk episod malam ini, kita ada Tantri Abdul Kadir untuk segmen mm-hmm. pertama Di mana kita berbahas, bercerita tentang tentang pentingnya semangat perpaduan Dan betapa pentingnya untuk kita sebagai negara Malaysia Untuk mengembalikan kegemilangan Malaysia, truly Asia itu Untuk membangkitkan semula industri pelancongan di persada dunia untuk segmen kedua pula, kita ada Maya Bayu di mana Maya bercerita tentang cabaran yang dihadapinya sebagai seorang artis yang masih ingin menempah nama di dalam industri. And she also mentioned something very important, Elin. Something similar to what Z Avi said previously yep. di mana bakat tidak kenal rupa dan mm-hmm. it is certainly a real challenge that she is facing right now. Jadi jangan lupa pergi ke Facebook kami, The Unity Movement untuk menonton semula episod malam ini. Thank you once again, ladies and gentlemen, for watching and for your endless support. Like what Tan Sri Abdul Kadir said earlier on, remember, unity is what makes Malaysia stronger. So keep the faith and spread that faith. We are two days away from Chinese New Year. There is nobody else who could sum up the spirit of Chinese New Year better than our fellow Malaysian, Mr. Ronnie Chang. When we see each other during Chinese New Year, 
the way we greet each other is we say, Kong si fa tai, or Kong he fa choy in Cantonese. I'm sure you've heard that, at least peripherally, right? Kong si fa tai, Kong si fa tai. Kong si fa tai means hope you get rich. <laughs> That's not Happy New Year. <laughs> Do you understand the go-to phrase during Chinese New Year isn't, hey, Happy New Year. It's, yo, hope you get rich. <laughs> hope you get rich. Hope you get richer than all these other mother <laughs> You get so rich, man. Hope you get rich. And also, hope, you better hope I get rich. We got ho hope each other. We got both get rich together. And I hope you Get rich, Malaysians! <laughs> Malaysians! <laughs> I need you to put this candy like it. This candy, Jim. And I hope you get rich, you, you, you. Malaysians. <laughs> <laughs> Next week we have yet another special guest. Who he is our national treasure, our national hero, our Nagara one. Mm -hmm. So don't miss it, please. Trust us, you don't want to miss it. Happy Let's Chinese go. New Year, Ching Nian Pilot. Go see Fat Chai, Jibo Yunora Pan, Slamat Malam.